Hello guys, welcome back to book reviews, Let's do Readers Reviews with Relationship. I'm Anne and this is The Deal by Ellie Kennedy, which is another one we're going to review today. This book is so delicious. Alright, so it was copywritten in um, mid-2015 and 2021, so I'm not sure if she did which one was accurate. I think it was newer, it looks newer at least. Um, so the only disclaimer, okay, so well, for, actually first, let's figure out what it's about first, right? Okay. She's about to make a deal with the college bad boy. Hannah Wells has finally found someone who turns her on. But while she might be confident in every other area of her life, she's carting around a full set of baggage when it comes to sex and seduction. If she wants to get her crush's attention, she'll have to step out of her comfort zone and make him take notice, even if it means tutoring the annoying, childish coffee captain of the hockey team in exchange for a pretend date. And it's going to be, oh, so good. All Garrett Graham has ever wanted is to play professional hockey after graduation, but his plummeting GPA is threatening everything he's worked so hard for. If helping a sarcastic brunette make another guy jealous will lift his grades and secure his position on the team, he's all for it. But when one unexpected kiss leads to the wildest sex of both their lives, it doesn't take long for Garrett to realize that pretend isn't going to cut it. Now he just has to convince Hannah that the man she wants looks a lot like him. So, okay, now what is this disclaimer? So disclaimer for this is there is reference to rape and there is reference to physical abuse. So if either one of those things trigger you, reading it, you know, in here, I don't know if that would be a trigger. I just wanted to give you a heads up. They do reference it. It doesn't go into, you know, um, and they do talk about it. So um, it is in there. So this book, Ellie Kennedy, Ooh, girl, I loved it. It's amazing. So I love the, the whole like school thing, like the, they're in college and he's the bad boy. So it's got enough, like, I did not go to like a college like that. So I don't know if it's really set where there are college popularity levels, not sure. Um, but I love the world that she created. If there isn't, it's beautiful in her, in her world. Um, I think it's very, you know, sexy that he plays hockey and he's like, you know, kind of out there fighting it on the field. I love the bro thing between the guys, even though some of the things they do are definitely like bro code and kind of gross, like sleeping with, you know, like, like do they call them like puck bunnies or something where the girls that they, you know, sleep with and mean nothing. I think that's really insulting, kind of, but I mean, I like the bro friendship. I love the friendship of the, the guys. And I think that there's other books about those other characters so I would love to I'm gonna have to check those out because um I really liked it I think that she did a very good job of writing this book it is a contemporary obviously um I love their back and forth I love how egotistical the main character is as weird as that sounds because usually it's like but he is super cocky and he knows his you know he knows his stuff and then um, I like the fact that she's, you know, she's artsy. I'm not a super artsy person, but I love that little, um, she's like into theater and things. And so um, I like that. And she's, and she gives as good as she gets. Like she is, you know, she's definitely not like a weak female lead. She's like, mm, no. And I like that. I find it really fun. I love their blend together. And the sex scenes in here are delicious. Um, I won't go <laughs> into detail because I feel like that will spoil it, but I gave it an eight. I really liked the scenes. I totally forgot how much I liked them and I kind of glanced back through and I came across some of the scenes whenever I was kind of getting a feel for the book to remind myself of what I like. And, um, oh my goodness. Yeah, they are, they're delicious. Um, if you, are shy or you don't like reading those don't uh don't go for this book but if you like the more in detail erotic scenes can be a little different um plays on that like yeah it's good it's good 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 um i'm trying to think if there's anything i didn't like no there was um you know like i said there was mention of rape which is is devastating but but that, that was hard to read but it's not the central theme of the book. The romance between the two and why they're trying to establish their own personal goals because both of them have something happening and career-wise, you know, 
Um, and I would say that because they're in, they're in college, so he's, you know, he's doing like got his hockey and she's got like a showcase and they're both working on that. And I feel like they were a really good, they were a good fit for each other. I like the friends, so the other characters on the outside kind of blending into that. And I like their, their hiccups and problems that they have to overcome. Overall, it's a fantastic book. 10 out of 10 stars, I would read this. I mean, uh, most of the books I'm, I'm doing today were all wonderful ones I would just do again and again. Um, this one is definitely out there. I really liked this one. This is, this is just such a, I, I just can't gush enough about it. So if you're in the mood for like, let's see, what is that called? Like, you know, kind of enemies than lovers, you know, would, would you know, kind of be the genre, I guess. Love it. Okay, so I think I, I I think I picked this one up. I think I picked this one up at Walmart because I read about Ellie Kennedy, but not this book. I have read about a couple of her other ones that also are really steamy. So I think Ellie Kennedy is pretty steamy, which means that she is a girl after my own heart. I like my novels steamy. I do. I love them. So I will have to get the rest of her collection. If anybody has an Ellie Kennedy favorite, let me know. Um. So I think you can get it on Thrift Books for fifteen fifty, Amazon for about nine bucks, or you can get the Kindle version for about five, and then Barnes and Noble you can get it for seventeen bucks. Also check out you know your used bookstore. But if it were me personally and I was buying the rest of this collection, I would probably go. I'd probably hit Thrift Books. That's what I would hit it. Just personally, um, or I know Kindle. Kindle is a huge favorite. I know a lot of people really like their their books on their Kindle. I like my physical copies, as you can tell. All right, guys, I'm going to head out of here. Like I said, if there's any other ones that uh, you like of Ellie Kennedy, or if there's any that are similar, like if you read it and you're like, ooh, this reminds me a lot of her writing style, please let me know because I would totally read those. I absolutely love it. Okay, have a good day.